today we're going to be taking a look at some very, very, very intelligent people, like people that watch Rick and Morty and that. That clever. That That's the level we're talking. But now, we're just looking at people that think they're clever and just use like big words and, and stuff, but then they're not actually that clever. They're just trying very hard to look at. Who here has been a mixed intelligence relationship? What's that even mean? I'm about 15 to 20 points higher than my wife. There are practically no women. <laughs> There are practically no women at my level. So this is the best I can do, considering her other qualities. She's in the 90th percentile for her sex. Communication is sometimes difficult, but with love and patience, we make it work. Fuck off. Bore off. Bore off. Type Garfield with your eyes closed. I'm going to do it. I fucking did it. Did it. I'm a real Garfielder. Some dork decided to reply. Is that a furry? Of course they got a furry profile picture. Furries should all be put on lists like the sex offenders register. Since I could type without even watching my keyboard due to training and being a novelist. You're not a novelist, you're a furry. I wouldn't call that a challenge. Sorry, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you spelt Garfield really wrong. So it's just like really shit t-shirt. I don't I don't understand it because I'm not I'm not clever. I was today years old when I realized how much of a nerd I am. My first thought was cute, but with Einstein C was the speed of light, and with Pythagoras C is the <laughs> hypotenuse. And I didn't have to look that up. First thought. Yeah, good. You did your GCSEs. 99% of people won't realize what Snyder is referencing here. Jesus from Bible. Just, you know, that Jesus. You, you had to say Jesus from Bible in case you were confused. I want to know what this is in response to. But anyway, I've had IRL sex many times, as opposed to not in real life. Many times. When you are six foot two, strongly built, have an IQ of 181. It is difficult to live the trap life, even though I wish I did. So shut up. I'm a thinker by nature, and my x ray vision can't help but penetrate every matter to its depths. It's blurred not just mentally or intellectually, but also me metaphysically and spiritually. My analogies and observations are unsettling to many timwits here, so I will stop now. Haha. <laughs> hmm, I concur, sir. Quite. People of Reddit, what category do you think you are in the top 1% of? My IQ is 136, which is top 5% of the world. <laughs> IQ of 136 is apparently not enough to understand and answer OP's question. 136 is way higher than 5%, I swear. But this guy's obviously just done, like, some fucking online test. Like, no one actually actually gets their IQ measured by like a professional, do they? It's always just like some Facebook quiz or something. All right, so this is on Bumble, the dating app. My personal hell is stuck in a conversation with someone who doesn't have the capability, the capacity for fourth dimensional thinking. What does that mean? What does that mean? You're just using fucking buzz phrases. That ain't gonna get you any bitches. All right, so this is a Discord message, which is a good start. I'm just good at math and science. Specifically, I've ruined online friendships over debates of black holes and space time laws of physics with people. You are a loser. If you ruin friendships over debates about black holes, get a grip. So, like, just a random bean with science slash math. Fuck off. Average Discord user. After catching myself explaining neutron degeneracy pressure to a seven-year-old, I have officially realized that elementary school students are too young for me. I'm a middle school teacher. Cool, you very smart. You're very smart. So I get it. You, you know what words mean. Probably, probably not, actually. I wish there was an OnlyFans for intelligent stuff like literature and mathematics. It's called a library. It's, it's a library. What do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean intelligent stuff like literature and mathematics? It's called a library or a bookshop. You can get like an ebook if that's if that's uh, what what you want. It takes actual brains and intelligence to one understand Family Guy, two get the jokes in Family Guy, three not ask stupid questions about the jokes in Family Guy. Family. <laughs> Yes, Family Guy, peak of, peak of intelligence. Like Rick and Morty, then Family Guy. And then all those other dimwit shows that uh, the plebs watch. While I got your attention, subscribe if you're new. There's lots of people watching these videos that aren't subscribed and it makes me really upset. So if you don't subscribe, I, I will kick you in the shins. Oh God, anime profile picture. We are in for a treat with this one. Your bio and profile picture gave me the hint that I was talking to a moron. This is not a conversation between equals. I'm teaching you something and you are being taught. That's a hilarious low IQ code, by the way. You can have a low IQ and still be fine. You don't need to cope so hard. <laughs> Fucking hate Twitter users, especially those with anime profile pictures and, and furries. Why do people have such a need to like gloat in front of others on Twitter and shit being like, oh yes, I'm so smart. I have IQ of 150. Why? 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 What does that give you? It ain't, it ain't getting you any bitches. That's for sure. <laughs> what? As an aviation geek, I understood exactly what Stewie meant and spent the rest of the skit giggling to myself. Get You understood a family guy joke. Yes, you are clever. Literally the most easiest digestible humor imaginable yes you got it well well done 
Oh, cool, a Tinder bio. Those are always good. My story is way too long, complicated, and generally just impossible to comprehend for normal human beings. And seems like I'm not done writing it, so I take it as my moral obligation to every sentient form of life to just keep to myself wonderful life of introverts. There is always but. But I'm being told there is still some intelligent people out there. I guess I came to see for- Not on Tinder, mate. Like, you're, you're, you're in the wrong place. Oh, Christ, a hinge conversation. Hinge is just like for people too pretentious to use Tinder. Long-term relationship, you sure that? But it is also fair to say that it's very hard to find someone worth it. If you're looking for a long-term relationship, the standards are much different. That is one to- 5%, whatever that means, I don't know what that means. It sounds like an existential crisis on my end. Not sure what point you're trying to make, I personally never look for anything beyond a long-term relationship. The only difference is, with my time, I've developed a better understanding of what I'm looking for and what I'm unwilling to tolerate. So yeah, my standards are high, but if I don't try to date slash tell myself it's too difficult to find that perfect someone, the success rate is even lower. That's motivational, thank you. Please don't take this personal since it's more my issue than you. I'm just sharing my own problem. Here's the reality, I've dated very hot girls. I keep them around, they turn me on, but I don't crave sex. The average just don't do it for me anymore. I literally you <laughs> lose my phone in the middle of sex. Oversharing, you're only a few messages in, mate. My time is worth <laughs> 2,000 per hour. What are you, a high-end lawyer? 2,000 per hour? What are you, fucking CEO of Apple? The literal cost to get to know someone is, to be fair, worth more than most people can possibly bring in for me. At this point, unless I bump into an 8, <laughs> eight to 10, I'd make an effort, but otherwise, when, incen what, what, when incentives do I have? Yes, yes, the grammar of a $2,000 plus per hour guy. Yeah, I think this is why sugar baddie is a thing. But you, do, who are you tricking? You don't make two grand an hour if your spellings like this. They're cheaper than dating me by a huge margin. I just hate the concept of paying, but damn, is it practical? I'm sorry. I know you made an effort. I don't know what I was expecting. At the same time, you have guys like me who just don't see the value of it all, or losers who aren't worth your time. You know what? Go date someone normal. They're just what you need. I don't know why girls go for me. I leave them crying and sad. Anyhow, good talking perspectives were examined in this monologue. You're, you're getting, I don't know what your name is, but you're gonna get no bitches. Also, you're not making two grand an hour if you're typing out all that shit, are you? Sick and tired of not being able to communicate efficiently because I use too many words. I'm going to have to learn to how to simplify my knowledge much better in the future. Posted on Facebook. Nobody on Facebook has an IQ above 100. That's just a fact. If you use Facebook in 2022, you're, you're a lost cause, my friend. I'm sorry. The MCU is bottom of the barrel entertainment-wise. They don't even have a good score to go with any film. And all you get is Guardians of the Galaxy with his low-tier boomer rock. Anyone who watched these films and enjoy them have the same intellectual IQ mine is 137 of the average American so I'm not surprised they're so famous. Get some bitches. I, I don't know what to tell you. So no one who has a high IQ goes around boasting about their IQ do they? It's always like morons who take like a five question Facebook test. This was on a post about an astronaut forgetting he's in zero gravity. Pretty stupid to be honest. When I step out of a swimming pool I'm not surprised that I no longer float. You didn't live in the swimming pool for months did you? If I was an astronaut as soon as I landed I would be capable of writing my reports and presenting to my superiors. Probably lift some weights afterwards as well to counteract the effect zero G had on my body. Negative 2,900 upvotes. Dating app should allow me to filter by IQ. What is I've expired you? I'm only attracted to highly intelligent people such as myself. In order to register <laughs> to this hypothetical app, you'd be required to take an actual certified IQ test. Only one chance. No bitches would sign up to that app. I'm sorry. <laughs> no one would sign up to that. An actual IQ test. Who actually, who does actual IQ tests, except for like, I don't know, Stephen Hawking. Who does those? So it's, that's just unnecessary. Surely you can tell like how, how clever someone is just by speaking to them for a bit, if that really is your thing. If a bit of quantum physics really gets your cogs turning. Oh god, alright, here's, here's a stupid take. I think you'd have to be crazy to buy a Rolex right now. I'd invest in AMC, buy the dips in crypto. You make 10 times that in a few days. And he's just waffling, 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 waffling. I don't care. Buy, I'm going to say it. Buying a Rolex is really smart. Like, buying a sports Rolex is insanely smart. But have you seen how much they go up in price? Because Rolex changed their business model a few years back, I believe. Whereas, like, before you used to be able to just go into, like, any watch shop and be able to pick up, like, a, a Rolex Submariner. Sorry, I'm waffling a bit here, but this is something I feel very passionately about. Because people are like, oh, why, why, do you, why would you spend so much on a watch? Because it, it, it gains value if you get the right one. So, like, that, you used to be able to get those in shops for, like, seven grand. But now, like, you can't get one for under probably about 12. And that's only going up. So when people question people for spending loads of money on watches, I I, I dismiss it because it's like buying into, like, the stock market. It's like actual investing. Except it's more fun because you get to have a cool thing to go along with it. A lot of watches don't, though. If you see, like, iced out, like, Rolexes and Pateks that rappers wear and stuff, they're not going to gain value because most of them are aftermarket diamonds. They're not going to gain value. They're going to decrease. See, so yeah, a little bit of investing knowledge from George Mimulus here. I am very smart. I'm very smart. My IQ is 
a hundred. Wasn't the Earth one big ball of flowing lava for a long time? I'm not an astrophysicist or a geologist. I'm a PhD archaeologist. In fact, the chairwoman of the Department of Anthropology at a major university in New York City will be stopping by our house today. Just did, he just didn't answer the question. <laughs> He's just did, what? Right anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe if you're new. Merch in the description, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye.